Good afternoon, everyone. Sorry you don't get to see me today. I've been really, really busy today since early this morning, so I haven't gotten ready for the day yet. But I wanted to uh, do this project for you. You might have seen me do this car. If you didn't, there is a link in the video description. If you don't see one, you might have to refresh. But uh, we're gonna add to this card because I have been inspired. Wait, I gotta find that picture. Um, I was inspired by one of my Patreon supporters. And I wanted to show you the picture and I just remembered that right now. I've got to show you the picture. She shared it in my exclusive Patreon book, book group on Facebook. And it, it inspired me to do this video for you. So hold on. I almost got it. I knew there was something else I had to do today. There it is. So Kathy, um, oh, and she told me how to say her name too. Hold on, let me get that. She did her card a little bit different than what I did. So it's Gokenauer. So Kathy Gokenauer, let me show you her card. Um, hold on, I gotta get the picture. You know what, I'm just gonna screenshot it and then I'll show it to you. Because she also shows what she used and I'll tell you how she did it also. Oh, what happened? I click buttons and all these things keep popping up for me today. Videos start playing automatically. Okay, here it is. Thank you for your patience, guys. Okay. Over to design space. Stop playing. Okay. Can you guys see this? Is this, I don't think I can make it any bigger. Can I? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. Okay. There. So look at how pretty this is. So this totally inspired me. Uh, so she used this and I saw that and I'm like, oh my gosh, I've been, I've had that for 10 years. I haven't used it. And then she also used these pieces from uh, like scrapbook things that you buy and then she used some distressed ink and I can let me read to you she told me what she did I'm not doing the same thing as her it's just another option um she blotted some ink onto a glass cutting mat then squeezed a little texture gel onto it and then mixed together to get the um color she wanted so she put the ink down on the mat then squeezed some of this texture gel that i'm going to be using and then she mixed them up she used um oh wait a minute that was the wrong color she used brushed corduroy distressed ink that's the color of it and then she put it on her card with a popsicle stick and let it dry overnight isn't that beautiful i love that and so uh, thank you, Kathy, for your inspiration. I uh, We're going to try something like that. I'm going to do it a little differently because when I saw what she did, then I had something in my head what to do. But So hers is a different option. I'm going to actually use real sand. I did some uh, testing here. That's one color of sand, and this is another one. I got these, and I got a whole bunch more of different... They have blues and greens and yellows and orange and all different kinds of colors of sand. I get these, I got these from uh, mudpuddles.com, but I got them at the uh, expo, the, the scrapbooking expo in Orlando, but I know the guy lives, he runs a business out of his house 
and he lives in Illinois, actually in my hometown. We didn't know that until we started talking. And I'm like, that's where I grew up. We went to the same high school. Um, so he does mud puddles and he has all different kinds of sand. So this one is from Miami and this one is, it's the name of it. I don't, I don't think the sand is actually from Miami. It's just the color he mixes. And this one's Bahamas. So you guys have to choose and you have to type in Miami this is Miami, and this one's Bahamas. So that's, it's not focusing. It's got different colors of sand in it. I was just testing it. So that's with this stuff, and then I sprinkled the sand on it, and then it dried for a few hours. Although I did, this one's been dry overnight. Yes, Bobby, mudpuddles.com. I think there's a link in the description. I don't get commission from it, but um, that's okay. He's got really cool sand. He's got some other stuff there too that's really cool. Um, and in the file, the file for this card I share with all my supporters and I shared it in my new Facebook group uh, for the people who get my new files. They only get them for 15 days to save them, then they have them forever. Uh, they got this file, but I added to the file. So I added the umbrella and the beach chair and some birds if you don't want these items they are free in access but if you don't have access and you don't want this all you have to do is delete these pieces and you won't be charged for it so today you know what let me go ahead and glue this umbrella together because I don't want to lose these pieces and that won't take me long I don't think let me match this yep That'll be easy. So I'm using art glitter glue like I use all the time. I'm gonna put that on. You could just do it like that, but I'm gonna add some of the other colors. Let me show you what the file looks like because I have to actually look at it. <coughs> so if you've downloaded this file before, you can go back and get it and then you'll get these other images. They're just images in Design Space. You don't have to use these. Um, but I have to figure out if this is the right way. Yes, it is. Okay, so this piece... And I have an idea, you guys, I've not tried this. So this could be all a big hot mess. I'm also going to color the ocean with um, these alcohol markers from Arteza. Okay, and that one goes there. I kept the umbrella, well actually I cut this at a different time so it's a different color, but in the file it's the same color as the sun. Oh, that's not right. Oh, oh no. I put the glue on the wrong side. I always say, put it down first so you know. Well, I thought I did. I didn't do a good job. Okay, the hot mess is starting. Okay. There you go. Okay, so that's going to lay in there, but we have to do the, um, here's the birds. I could put the birds on. I added these birds. Oh, you guys can't see. Sorry. <laughs> so I just, what I did is I just glued these on and I put the glue on this piece upside down and it didn't fit. So I had to turn it over. Now I'm going to put a little glue on the bird. I use black glitter paper. I don't like that. There's no where specifically you have to put these. Just wherever you want. 
Um, okay, so we're gonna move these off to the side. <clears throat> okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color. Um, I was playing with these three colors on scrap paper. Okay, don't look at that one. Yeah. And then I thought, oh, these would be pretty. Doesn't that look kind of like an ocean? So I'm gonna color with those colors. Um, this is the darker one. Okay, even though it doesn't look darker, it is. So I'm gonna do the lightest one. This is Arteza alcohol markers. They're really inexpensive. And the Cricut drew this on there. And it's easier for me to color, so I'm just gonna turn this as I need to. I'm not trying to stay in the lines at the bottom, just at the top. I'm gonna be coloring this down a little bit. These markers are going to be refillable. They don't have refills for them yet, but they're coming with them. Actually, I can probably use the other side of the markers once I get around the top of this. So I can color much faster. And I don't want to color where the trees are. And we're going to try to keep the sand away from the tree trunks also like Kathy did. Oh, and I want to say also, Judy also inspired this too. Judy added sand with paper. Like she added paper and she added uh, some flamingos and stuff and really made it cool looking also. <clears throat> oh yeah, and Judy, she just showed up in chat. I think, or maybe you've been here. I haven't been, you guys, I cannot do this and read chat at the same time. Okay, just so you know that. I can't, it's hard. I don't have a Sean like Ken does. Okay, I'm just gonna go over this quickly. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm gonna go over these with more color. And I think I'm gonna go down a little bit further than I plan that you're gonna actually see. I'm gonna add sand down here, so you, you're probably not gonna see all this, but I'd rather cover it up with some of the sand than have white spots. So I'm using the bold, the, forgot what they call that part. I keep wanting to say chip something. Okay. I know it doesn't look great. <clears throat> okay, so now this is the darker color and I'm gonna go in here and do darker near the top, but not all the way to the top because I think the, the waves coming up would be a little bit lighter of a color. I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time. I'm gonna do half of it. Then I'm gonna do the medium color. And I'm gonna color over that. So the dark area I just colored in, I'm gonna color over it.
now we're going to the lighter one again. And I'm coloring over the darkest one. And over the medium one. And I'm doing big circles. I'm using this one, this, this tip. So it just blends more. This is the lightest one, right? Okay, I'm gonna go down a little bit more. <clears throat> okay, now we're gonna do the other half. Do we have questions? And I go over it with the middle one. Yeah, I think the card is pretty just like this, and then you could just, if you don't have sand or uh, you don't want to use sand, or somebody also said you could use sandpaper. Evelyn told me that. Evelyn from Elston Creations, which is something I've never crafted with. Oh, wait, this is the medium one. I'm going down too far. This is the lighter one, and I'm gonna go up here a little. So I went too far down in the medium color, so I'm gonna go over here and do some more. And what we're coloring on is uh, just Cricut Craft Board. I suggest the Bristol paper is much better to actually use with colored markers. It blends in better. Or, yeah, I guess they're colored. Alcohol markers is what I mean. They will blend better. But that's doing all right. Okay. Oh yeah, sandpaper works if you spray it with a fixative. Uh, these are the Arteza Everblend art markers. They're alcohol markers. They're a great price. Okay, now let's get to the fun part. That is really pretty, isn't it? I really like it. 
Okay, I'm gonna use this. This is from Chocature. It's a multi-tool. And, oh wait, I need to put the pin back in the glue so it doesn't clog up the tip. Okay, you guys, did you guys vote on Miami or Bahamas? I did not notice. I was busy at the time. <laughs> so if you wanna go ahead and vote again on that. Okay. What I'm gonna do is, this is just scrap craft board. I'm gonna, I, this I got 10 years ago from Michael's, but it's on Amazon. I put a link down below if you like it. It's kind of finishes like sand. So if you just add glue to it, not glue, color, like dye to it, that's all she used in her part, and it looked really cool. It doesn't, do you feel it? You can feel, oh yeah, you can feel a sand. Okay, Miami for most of them. I kind of like the Miami too. So you guys, I've never done this, except for just on the little scrap here. So I'm just gonna apply this. I'm gonna put some over the water. I don't know what that's gonna look like, if you're gonna see that through or not, when it dries. So this will have to dry, and we won't be done before it's dry, but I can finish the card, and then I can share on social media after it's dry, probably tomorrow. So I'm just putting a thin layer of this on. Maybe uh, I put too much on my paper. But I do want it kind of thick. I want to see it. So I'm going to put it on thicker. Uh, like Kathy said, you can use a popsicle stick or, you know, you can use anything you want. Probably use your finger. I was thinking, can we like make a sand castle with this? In the sand? I'm not going to try it, but if you try it, that would be awesome. This stuff is made to be mixed with acrylic paint. So you could mix it with paint and then put it on the card also. I wanna make sure it's not getting in the card. Put darker sand as shadow under the trees. Oh my gosh, you're so smart. And if some of the blue shows through, I think it'll be okay because it'll just maybe look like there's some water there, maybe. Okay, I think I have enough. It's kind of hard to tell in the white. Oh, I have a piece of paper here. You know, like glitter, you gotta save this. So I'm gonna use the Miami from Mud Puddles. Oh, I bet you could do sandcastle. I wonder if we can cut a sandcastle out of sandpaper with our crickets. I don't know, I've not tried it. But if you try it, let us know. Okay, so now I'm just pouring this on, lots of it. I'm gonna pour a little more in. 
Oh, see, I didn't color down far enough. Let me go up higher. Let me add some more. Actually, I was going to make this up higher than where I want it. Let's just go ahead and add more. Remember I told you this project could be a hot mess. We'll see. But it doesn't matter if the sand gets mixed in with it because it's, it's just going to look all sandy anyway. Let me try to put it right up against the tree. And it would be easier for you if you put it all on where you want it first. Don't pour the sand on and do it again like I did. I mean, it's not hurting anything, but I think it would be better if I did it all at once. Okay. I'm going to pour more sand on it. The card is a little heavy. <laughs> I think it'll be better after it dries. Okay, that looks pretty good, I think. Okay, first what I'm gonna do, <laughs> I can't even pick up this paper. It's heavier than glitter. I'm gonna pour this back in the bowl. Can you see this? Look, even though I wasted it because I put it more on again, I still have a lot. So you don't use much sand. I could pour a little more on. I could probably also pat it on there too, but I'm kind of afraid. Does that look like fun? Oh my gosh, Susan. Joan, that's awesome. She said footprints in the sand. That would be cool. Did someone else say that above? I just saw her say that. Oh, man. That would be really cool if I had uh, footprints <laughs> that were that small. But you could do that on a card. And if you had maybe a stamp, wonder if uh, like rubber stamps or something, you could put those in or just make something with an imprint. That would be so cool. Okay, now let's put in the chair and umbrella. So we're just gonna be relaxing here. I'm sticking it in the sand. Should I put glue on it? I don't know. Maybe it will dry in the sand. Maybe I'll put more sand on top of it. Okay, that's not, I'm going to have to glue that. Pop that. Where do I have? pop dot. I'm going to pop up the umbrella. I got a pop circle. Okay. Let's 
stick that back in there. I'm going to add a little more sand. Oh! Spilled my sand. I'm going to push this down right there. So the umbrella is actually in the sand. This chair is too, but... There. Isn't that fun? Oh, yeah, flip flops would be fun to put in it, too. <laughs> Joan says the chair has her name on it. Joan, you should make this card and put your name on it. On the chair isn't that fun I I like it and I want to thank Kathy for um, showing it to me for sharing it in the group is not that fun so if you didn't see the video of me putting the actual card together and making the card I did that in another video and it's in the description below so uh, you can watch that video after this one if you haven't seen it the palm tree is writing so the cricket did all the writing it does take a half an hour for each tree to draw because it is drawn and I used a fine tip cricket pen it's drawn on this white piece and on the blue background. So in case you can't tell, these are cut out. Isn't that pretty? I, I really like this. Thank you guys. You guys have inspired me to do this. So I really appreciate the inspiration from you guys. It's kind of fun that I can inspire you and then you inspire me. All right, guys, and uh, t Saturday, I'm going to redo the pictures and patterns in Design Space in words. So many people have asked me about that. They're having trouble because Design Space has changed. So I'm going to show you how to do a word or a letter and put somebody's picture in there or a number and put pictures in there. And... Just today, I released another digital paper set that you can upload as a pattern in Design Space. I have been so busy, I haven't even had a chance to put mine in Design Space, not even one of them. So I'm going to do that after the video. You can get any of my digital paper at MelodyLaneDesigns.com. If you are a supporter of mine, you get a 60% off coupon or digital code like discount code I'm like <laughs> a discount code so you get 60% off so thank you guys love you and I will see you on Saturday morning 11 a.m. Eastern time for Cricut design space class thank you guys you're awesome all right guys see you next time